out of here quiet. Y'all doing all right today? Good. Good. You guys kind of began, you know, with the season where you ended about communication and, you know, trying to reduce the enemies and stuff. It right. seemed like you had a lot of them in this past game, especially on some critical downs. So, first of all, what's your reaction to that having happened? And, and, and how do you, what's your message this week to those guys to try to you know, get that? Really something we preach all the time is communication and make sure everybody on the same page. And, you know, some of the things that we jacked up, we shouldn't jack up in those situations. And it's just, you know, that's the thing about this league. you got to play under pressure. One of the, the kind of big gaps was was not getting a timeout called in B2B to be a, to make, you know, Off the field, off yes. The field. And I know Lobotnia was trying to do that, but you guys are right there on the sidelines, right, by the side judge. Is that that's something that should have happened from the sidelines? Uh, not, you know, not seeing Bay get off the field in time. From from the standpoint of we, they shouldn't have been in that situation in the weather. We got to be a lot cleaner on our substitution. So it was it was not a situation that anybody jacked up. Levante really was trying to save the day. Right. We should have been a lot cleaner on the substitution. On those third and longs, uh, from your vantage point, uh, what jumped out to you is as to why you guys weren't able to get off the field, like those third and 11 pluses, there were like four of them. The, the thing I looked at it was, from our standpoint, it was the rush. I think we were in four-man rush zone coverage right there from a pass rush standpoint. That's what the situations you want to be in. Third and long, he's got to hold it a little bit. We got to get off the field. And then one of them was just, just base fundamentals. We can't let him scramble, get outside the pocket. You know, that was, that was I put more on the rush. What, what can your guys do in those situations uh, to get home? Hey, those guys need to rush a heck of a lot better. We when we just met this morning and talked about it. You know, we expect a lot of those guys. If you look where our resources are on the defense, you need to get home, and they and they they don't shy away from it. Uh, we'll squarely put it on them. We need to rush better. What's your assessment of the front seven as a whole, six games in? Six games in, you look at it, it's been some ups and downs. The thing you would try to preach for is a bit more consistency, you know, this and that. I think Todd mentioned the other day we've been eight quarters without takeaways. We need to, we need to be more, advanced, more assertive in taking the ball away, and that would start by trying to get home, hit the quarterback. This Throughout the league, those guys turn the ball over more than anybody, but we need to get there quicker and get the ball off of them. Whether it's Vita uh, or Shaq, because, cause, like you mentioned, a lot of money, a lot of resources in those right. players. Do they feel that pressure, or how do you how do you get them to, you know, obviously they want to be productive, and they have been. What's been the difference? Well, just the difference is, you no, know, those are the situations we put in that we need guys to step up and make a play. So, and, and you know, you look at all the, a lot of guys, you know, and we didn't look at their financial capital, we look at their draft capital. If you was a first rounder, you're a first pick of the second, we need you showing up in the rush. We just got to step up and make plays. And really, throughout, when we have success, those guys make plays. We talked about it a lot this morning. So, our, our five-star players got to play like five-star players. How surprised are you that Shaq only has two sacks through all these games, and they both came in, in one game? And, and you know, if we said it before, sacks come in bunches. Sometimes a guy you look up and he have a four-sack game, and all of a sudden he tied for the league. League they come in bunches, and the thing is, you look at it as a whole. Only one person get the sack, but we have a bunch of them. So you right there, somebody else is getting there, and he get the attention that he is, that he is warranted because of who he is. So right there, he's a problem. Guy, he he definitely will keep coming, and and the rest of them. It all works together, you know. If we keep the guy in the pocket, we all anybody can get the sack. Uh, along the lines about resources, yeah, I think the last time you spoke here, you kind of mentioned that he regretted not getting Logan Hall on the field more, and he did. His snaps jumped with this last game, close to the fewest snaps he's had all year. Is that just a you know, different packages you were using or a bad matchup? It was just it was just the way they were playing going into it. If you look back at last week, they were making they were gonna be hard headed about running the ball, so we wanted the bigger, stouter guys in. And you know, once we get in a situation where it's passing situation, we try to sub accordingly. In terms of Logan Hall, and I know you're focused on this week, this season, but he is a rookie who really hasn't even had the benefits of an off season NFL program. Right. His body type's not going to change a whole bunch until next offseason. But right. looking ahead, where's this guy physically next year? Where is he in terms of his potential? Let me scratch the surface. Right. But, but what, what is 
Where's Logan Hall's ceiling at in your opinion? Well, the thing is, I think he can be as good as he wants to be. You know, he puts the time in in the offseason. The guy's about 290, 295. Another year in this league with offseason, he'd be 300 plus. He just needs to increase his strength. But he, like we said when we drafted him, he has some tools and assets that really accent what we do. He's long, he's athletic, he has pass rush ability. So we think he can be as good as he wants to be. One thing Tom Brady had said was that everybody kind of needed to look themselves in the mirror coming off that loss. Um, are there specific instances or examples of, of that you've seen of guys doing that? For as as far as, as looking themselves in the mirror and maybe you know making certain changes. Well, you know, when you look at the guys this week, you know, they were, were straightforward and looking at exactly where we're in, and no one's pointing the finger. We all, we all had a hand in it, so we all don't going to have a hand in getting it straight and riding the ship. So all these guys this week in practice been locked in and look forward to seeing them play. Casey, you guys, had a, you guys have some unique third down looks. You had one play on Sunday where you basically had four guys in one gap where you had both linebackers and Logan and Shaq. Without giving anything away, is there a name for that? We can call it kind of – Bunch formation? Oh, well, when we call it, we just call it wide. But that's that that was by choice, and it kind of worked out. We got some guys free. That's the thing about our defense. That's why, you know, we it's critical that we communicate because we're not going to be traditional all the time, two guys inside, two outside. That's just never been how we played. So when you're not tradish, you got to make sure you're communicating everybody on the same page. That's, that's why we got to hark, hark constantly on communication, make sure everybody on the same page. Questions that quarterbacks have faced, especially to uh, yes. roughing the passer has been like in the spotlight over the last couple of weeks. So right. I'm just heartening was it to see, I'm sure you guys have preached it in house, but on that first drive, on third down, you're getting ready to get off the field, and Devin White just with the extra shove. And that, that's a team captain who probably should know better. And that extended the drive that ends up being a touchdown. Well, when we talk about it, we ask the guys to be smart. But sometimes in the motion of games, guys get caught up in this. And, and, and you know, as you look at it, it's so many, so many things. And we talk about them. And when the officials come in every week, because, you know, one officiating crew will be a super stickler and one officiating crew will let it go. So it, it's such a subjective thing. And we just ask them to just be smart. Casey, third downs have been an issue all, all year. Um, not necessarily uh, to an extent of third and shorts, but third and longs. Right. Um, you guys are, are near the bottom of the league. Uh, right. A lot of 52% of those Oof. third and long Oof. conversions. Makes my stomach hurt hearing you say that. <laughs> go, go ahead. Third and six or longer. What do you need to do? I know communication and execution is obviously two of the biggest things. No doubt. But when you look at those plays, when you, when you talk about it as a team, what are, you, what are you harping on to these guys to say, hey, these are drive sustainers? And, and keeping our offense on the field, we need to, we need to turn this around. Well, the thing we look at is always one thing. You know, you have great coverage, then the front, the, uh, the rush lets the quarterback break contain, and then that hurts us. Or, you know, we have good rush, and he gets the ball out because we're a little loose on the coverage. So it just rush and coverage has to work together. We just have to execute the scheme, and we think we can right the ship. And Joe Trinshrink uh, looks like he's had two of his better games these last two games. What have you seen that jump of play from him from the first four weeks to the last two weeks? It's funny you should say that we still want more from Joe because we think his ceiling can be higher. You know, we want, you know, we think he's a guy that can really compliment Shaq on the outside with uh, uh, Carl and Nelly. We think we got really four guys that we can put in there and go get the quarterback. And, and kind of like we said, those four guys just got to work together and we got to be more of a consistent rush. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you.